Oh my god, guys, I haven't seen you in, like, what, like, a day? So I thought I'd do another update and show you guys my sphagnum cultures before they really get growing for the spring, because they're starting to come out of dormancy. So let's go over here to start. So over here we have the green sphagnum cultures. This one is the one that's doing the best right here. Um, <clears throat> it's completely covered over. And this one I started, like, sometime in fall, but... These guys, which I started like April, they, I, where I've picked out of them, like, just like pick little pieces out, they're not that full anymore. <coughs> So this one I just started a few days ago. Well, not a few days ago. Maybe like I feel like I started this one in November, but it's not doing anything. So it's like weird. Um, these guys I started just a, like a, maybe like two months back, and they're doing well. And this is one that I started for that video tutorial on how to start a culture that I did. It did not take off because that was in like, like, I don't even know what month that was in, but I'm pretty sure it was in fall. This little guy right here, I got as an attachment on some of, like on a plant that I traded for. Sir, it's a different species, so that's why I have it in a different place. Okay, I'm like really bored, but here is like the other sphagnum culture that I got from a trade like a while ago in November. I'll put like a link somewhere, but then like it was came as like rot wine red and stuff, but then like it turned green because that's what it does when it's adjusting. And I also made two little cultures of it over here. There's one right here, and then there's one over here too, which I just made from scraps. And then back here, I have some red and green sphagnum that I got from a vendor online actually and it came mixed in with another species which I made four cultures of which I'll show you in a second. There's also those, uh, I made a, like an update video to those too. This one's cool because it has like, it has like Drosera in the pot and stuff. Now over here are the four red cultures that I was talking about that are actually starting to pick up in growth and um, I'll put a link to where I first got them from and you could see what they looked like when they first came but they're starting to grow, especially right here in this culture. There's a lot of heads popping up. And then over here in this culture, there's a lot of heads popping up. And then right here in this culture, there's a lot of heads popping up. They just pop up in little, you know, like, one of the globs of mucus is still there, oh my god. So here's an overview of how all of my sphagnum cultures look. Just to put it in perspective, this whole thing across is roughly six feet. So each one of those is about like a foot and a half or so. And over here, we have the rest of my sphagnum cultures. These are the ones I started out with, but they're in every one of my Nepenthes pots and stuff. So it's annoying because, like, like I want to, like, have, like, red, like, 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 like. So as you can see through the leaves of my money tree, I have a little, not little, but giant work in progress of moss. Because I like moss, so I'm growing tons of it. 